That looks so good. Can you hear the cheese bubbling? In this video, I'll teach you how to make this easy quiche-like dinner on Brightline Eating. It's a recipe I just kind of threw together and it's so delicious, I've made it before. This is the first time I've made it with corn, but I guarantee you're going to love it. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Angela and I upload every Saturday at Eastern Standard Time here on YouTube to help you lose weight, especially if you do the Brightline Eating program. I myself have done Brightline Eating. I lost 60 pounds with the majority of the weight lost on Brightline Eating a year and a half ago. I am sad to say that I really lapsed into binge eating disorder and I regained so much of the weight. I'm back doing the program again and within the first month I was down 15 pounds. So I'm still working my way back down to where I was, but I hope you stick with me on my journey. And if you want to follow me, just give me a subscribe and a like here on this video. So let's get into the recipe today. Here's what's in the working veggie mix. So I have three eggs for one and a half servings of protein. The vegetables in this, keep in mind, I do the 10-10 split, so it's 10 ounces of vegetables at lunch for me and 10 ounces of vegetables for dinner at me. Since this is making two servings, this is going to be 20 ounces of vegetables total. And in order to do that, I did a 10 ounce bag of seasoning blend along with a 10 ounce frozen chopped spinach. Now, here's why I'm gonna go ahead and tell you I added in the corn. It's because once I microwaved these frozen vegetables, it literally, like when I strained all the water out, I weighed it, it was like 10 ounces after all the water was drained out. So I said, you know what? I need a little more vegetables than that. I exercise, I have a high metabolism. I gotta have my food. So I added in a can of no salt added sweet corn and you gotta read the ingredients and make sure there's no, um, this is just corn and water. Make sure there's no sugar added to your corn. But once I put that all in, it was 20 ounces. So that was perfect. And then, like I said, the one and a half eggs. And now I'm about to put in my cheese. I'm going with sliced mild cheddar and classic mozzarella. Before I mix in the cheese, I'm just gonna do some seasonings. I'm doing Watkins all-purpose seasoning, salt-free, and then Trader Joe's everything but the basil. See, Aver eh, can't talk. Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning. And I'm just being very generous with these. these up so it is evenly distributed in the egg mixture then I will add the cheese in just remember that on bright lane eating one ounce of cheese is counts as a fat and two ounces of cheese counts as a protein all right so here's the math that I'm doing and I'm gonna put the recipe for this in the description box below for the eggs, there's three eggs in there, that's one and a half proteins. I'm going to do three ounces of cheese total, and the reason is because we have over here one and a half proteins already, I only need a half protein, which is one ounce of cheese. But then I also am letting myself have um, two fats, because this is a full dinner for me, so that's two ounces, because one ounce of cheese on Brightly Nini is a fat serving. So this is actually gonna end up being three ounces total of cheese that I'm gonna put in this mixture. And just remember, one ounce is a half protein, and then the two ounces are two fats. So that's how I'm doing the math. So I just realized I'm gonna do something a little bit different, because I want my sliced cheese that's the cheddar cheese to be spread out evenly, which is a little bit challenging whenever you have this type of mixture. And I'm gonna do the mozzarella maybe sprinkled on top, but I just realized what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of make the um, cheddar go on the bottom. That way it's evened out. So I'm gonna do probably two ounces of the cheddar on the bottom, and then I'll sprinkle one ounce of the mozzarella on the top. Well, close enough. This is three slices of cheese and it's almost two ounces. It's one and seven eighths. And I just kind of made it like a puzzle. This is gonna be divided up into two servings. So it's like half will be one dinner for me. So I'm like, whatever, it's fine. So then I'll just supplement one and one eighth ounce of mozzarella sprinkled on top. So let me go ahead and pour this mixture on top of this. Here's everything poured out. So now remember, I'm just going to sprinkle the one and one eighth mozzarella on top and then bake it. So there is my one and one eighth ounce of mozzarella and I'm gonna bake this for like 20, 30 minutes. Look how good this looks. I cannot wait to see what it looks like after it's fully baked. Look at this yum, yum, yumness. Look at that. 